But at this point in time, I'm just going to leave this incomplete. Like, after the Temporal Storm... I am going to organize my inventory, all of my storage, because I said I would do that. And then after that, that'll be the end of the playthrough. So, yeah, I'm going to keep my promise. I said I was going to organize it, and I will. Here we go. Spawning now. And that's a double-headed drifter, so we have to engage you, like, right now. Yeah! And I'm gonna chop you to little pieces and get your... Wait, did you? You give me two temporal gears. It's like two of them. Wow. Okay. Get rid of this nightmare drifter. And... I just have surface drifters throwing stuff at me. Now it is a medium temporal storm so weaker enemies are going to be spawning. And I'll just build right in front of you if you don't mind. I mean like... It's like, meh. It's fine as is. Like, I really don't feel like finishing it completely. At this point, I'm just burning off time until the end of the playthrough, so... I'm not too concerned. Like, if you want to download the map and finish it, go right ahead. And also play around with the rest of this stuff that I did around here. But it is a pretty big arena anyway. Like a lot of the stone paths, it just had to go towards going from here to the traders. Like that was the priority. This arena is like, it's secondary. It's just a bonus. And all I really did was fill in this pond that was here with stuff from far away. And this is basically what I meant by the Mario Kart Arena. So these four corners, like you can go around here really quickly. And then I was going to have something in the middle here. Perhaps a nice fancy looking fountain or something. But basically I can just... Move around here, drive around here, similar to Mario Kart, dodge all those banana peels and shells. Too bad I can't finish it. But I did have other things I needed to do. So, at this point, the only thing that's left for me to do is organize my inventory, and then I'm done. I probably should burn the rest of these paths, though. Actually, uh, I'm gonna leave this as is. I'm just gonna take this thing out. I'm gonna mine this with the axe, because obviously that is very quick. Yeah, come here. Now, it might cause problems because the stone paths kind of camouflage them. Kinda. Nope! No. Dodge that attack. Well, I guess I haven't exactly filled out these paths here. 
Whatever, I'm sure you'll understand. Like, this takes a lot of stones to make. Lots and lots of stones. And I use some of my existing fancy materials, plus some of my Kimberlite stuff. Problem is, I don't know what's up with the Kimberlite stones. Like, the stone bricks, I should say. Like, I should have been able to make the stone bricks. But that was annoying, so... It's gonna have to be like that. Oh. Wait, that's a dead deep drifter. Like, if I somehow managed to finish this, this grass would not be here and I would have much easier time seeing them even though they kind of camouflage themselves against the stone paths here. Anyway, let me just uh, drive my cart around here. I missed point blank. Wow. Hey, look at this arena. Alright. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 <laughs> I am missing point blank range and you are praying. What do the drifters pray to? What are they doing when they do that? Well, I'm just gonna drive around this arena. Okay. Alright, let's go inside here and slow down because there's no paths. Like, I don't know why you're just, like, going around in circles like that. Like a jog chasing its tail. Oh. Oh, come on! Wow, I, I just... I just stood there and took it. And then I walked right up and up in his face and took it again. Nice. Gonna need some banana peels in here. If I put an outer wall around this place, I can just have green shells bouncing around all over the place. Except there are no green shells in Vintage Story. Like, you're doing it again. Like, what the hell? Hey, you're outside the arena, and... Where did I throw that spear? Okay, there we go, there we go. Let's get back onto the arena. Like, I'm gonna need lots and lots more stone before I can complete this, so I'm just not gonna bother. Oh, I just walked right into that. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, I've only seen that behavior on the Stone Pass Labs. So, I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's just drive around here. Like, woohoo! Go around these pillars. Woohoo! Watch out for those red shells.
Come on, drifters. Catch me if you can. Woo! All right, corrupt drifters. You know what? Just get that spear. Look, oh, catch me if you can. Come on. Come up against the window. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. Nope. Throw that like really wide. That's okay. All right, let's get back on the track. Come here. Come here. Oh, you actually got me. Nope. All right, this is almost over. Actually, it's still April 9, so... Still got a little bit to go. So I'm just going to retreat for a little bit so that these guys can despawn. I already got the double headed drifter and I don't see anything else spawning. So let's just get out of here. Move away from our base and then they'll despawn. And there we go. It's going to move a little bit more over in this direction. All right, that should do it. I can have three more copper lanterns. I should probably put it somewhere. Except that I don't have the posts, but I can pretty much put one right here, just to uh, light up this area. Hey, look at that. It looks nice, but at this point in time, I can't really finish it. So, I won't. I probably should, like, put a lantern up here. Just so it can be lit. What the hell? I know. I'll put one like right here. One right here. Let's also put the last lantern right over here. This way, these locations can be, you know. It can be lit up. You can see it from a distance. Alright, so everything is good to go. I'm gonna shovel this stuff. Just gonna flatten it here. All right, I'm going to get on organizing the inventory. It's going to get on that. And you know what? Maybe I should uh, do something with the copper here. I mean, that was stupid. It wasn't enough charcoal. So we get it up to temp first. And then we'll put... Oh! That's right. I was making a charcoal pit. And it's done. So, might as well extract it at this point. It's 
So again, I'm not gonna finish the arena, just gonna organize inventory, do some other miscellaneous stuff until morning. And then that'll be it. I'm gonna put the map up for download, assuming that the map is treated the same as in non-permadeath playthroughs. I'll have to check that, but if it's the same, then okay. We'll just put it on Mega Upload. That's where I usually put it. And I'll also release the seed so that you can generate this map as well. Now this is the seed for version 1.16. I don't know if anything will change going to different versions. In fact, I'm really not sure if it... If the previous playthroughs I did will work on different versions of the game. You know what? I'm just gonna go and do this. Okay, it's still burning. Uh, 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 uh. So let's do 18. Almost forgot it again. And I do want to get rid of this corn flower. I'll just put it back where I found it. Probably should fill in this area. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let me do this real quick. Yeah, let's just fill this in. This way I don't have to deal with the pond around here. It, it, Okay, let's go back to the charcoal pit, continue digging this out. Let's put the shovel here. I do need to put the spears back as well. So we're going to have three and a half stacks as before. I already used 18 of it. And there we go. Another charcoal. Alright, so let's go ahead and organize this inventory. Oh, we have shale sand. Uh... You know what, I'm just going to keep it here. So... Let's put this in here. I guess we do have more stones, but whatever. We'll put our gears here. Okay, let's put away the spears now. Okay, um, we're gonna put the flax over here. Still have no idea how to use the clean bandages. Uh, I guess it's the alcohol that we never really figured out how to process. Okay, so we'll put this here. Except we don't have any space. Oh, yay. Uh... I guess we'll take this, put the rest of the charcoal there. Oh yeah, I forgot to feed the animals. Let's go feed them. Okay, so we got onions for them. And we got some more grains. Like, they are just eating everything now. 
treat for pigs and sheep. Oh, jeez. There's got to be a better way for doing this. So at this point, I'm not going to use the silver plates. Like for those of you who want to play on this map, I'll just leave the silver plates there for you to play around with. Okay, let's use up these grains first. I guess I'll eat this. I will eat a meal along with the rest of you. And if you do play this map, you want to call the sheep. Oh, I guess I didn't milk the sheep. You know, probably should get on that. Keep you all nice and fed. I really need to call some of you, but I won't. Yep, that should do it. But you know what? I'm gonna fill up one of these troughs again. Oh, you all... This is down to two portions now. Alright, so I want to milk one of you. I want to drink the milk. Because we need to get our dairy up. Like, we still have lots of grains here, and here, and I still have bread. And this is all I have for my reserves. I have lots of jam. Like, I guess I didn't really need that much jam, but... Alright. Wait, let me fill up this bowl. And get some bread. Oh, I also have another stack of grains here. Let's get rid of that. Uh... How did we... write on the... thing here? Because this is quartz. I think it's the... Yeah, it's limestone we could use. Quartz. There we go. And then this is like miscellaneous stuff. Well, let's just do that. Miscellaneous stuff. Alright, it is May 1st, 1387. I'm just gonna finish up here and then that'll be it for this playthrough of Vintage Story 1.16. I'm really forgetting. Wait, what the hell? Guys. The temporal gears stack. Well, technically it doesn't. Like, the moment I press right-click here, it's going to be separated forever. So, I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, um, let's just clean this out. Oh, we had spare beeswax. And then we got our Kimbler light stones here. Why did I put my bread in here? You doing bread? Oh, we still have cattail roots. You know what? Let's just put the seeds like so. And then we have, we have rice grains. And we have additional zinc. And we have a golden treasure chest and boots and wooden fence gates. I'm just going to leave the flax here. Alright, miscellaneous stuff. Put you here. Put a bunch of powders here. Now the quartz goes in here. 
And then there's also these metal scraps that I really don't care about. There you go. And I guess we can turn this into a little bit more linen. Wait, okay, quartz is done. Blue clay and fire clay. We don't have that much anymore. Pulverized stuff. And we still have our oak logs. We have a bunch of rot and uh, meteoric iron piece. You know what? Let's do this. Uh... At this point, I don't need the bandages. I'll take this, like... Like, partial stack here. Okay, we need to put the powders, like, downstairs. I'll take the feathers as well. And... You want shepherd's sandals? I think that's it. Then bricks. Oh, we have bricks in here. Let's just put the bricks in here. See, how are you doing? Still going. Then I'll put the zinc here. And we'll put all the powders down here. Then lily pads. That's miscellaneous stuff. Bones, I guess, is miscellaneous stuff. Oh, haven't checked over here in a while. Okay, so we got some weak tannin and we got some strong tannin. We still have some leather here. I guess I'll move it over here. So we have an entire stack of leather right here. And I think I have horse tail somewhere up here. Yeah, I guess I'll put it downstairs. Got 41 horsetail. We really don't need that much. Uh, I think that's it. And this is a quartz chunk that didn't, like, get processed. So we'll put it here. And you know what? I guess I'll move all of this pulverized stuff into the pulverized chest. So there you go. I organized my inventory. Are you people happy? Please tell me you're happy. Because I'm happy. The limestone. We're going to put the limestone back here. And we still have andesite stone. You know, I'm just going to keep this in my inventory. All of this. Just because. Here we go. Yeah, this is good enough. Look at that, the sunrise. Unfortunately, I don't have a tower I can climb to the top to. Do you know what? This looks nice. Now, before I end this playthrough, Let's go ahead and travel down the path that we have constructed. Or I have constructed. I guess we. Now, I haven't completely lit this place up. I have been trying to burn this area for a while, but it's always been raining every time I try to burn it. And is that a... Oh, that's snow. Never mind. That's not a wolf. Okay, I didn't finish this part of the path. Like, I actually finished the path going to the agricultural trader before I finished this path going to the treasure hunter. Oh, and here's this pear tree. Now that it's May. It is now flowering. But, don't have time to deal with that. Like, you need more than an entire year in order to deal with the pears. Or basically those fruit trees. It takes more than a year.
Now we built this earlier on. It was still summertime when this was built. We did go over there for a little bit, but only spent a day there. There's nothing in here. Now around here is a zinc area. I guess I'm just giving a tour at this point. Now there's zinc down there. There's zinc up here as well. I didn't mine it out, but you can see the little black dots around here and around here. So this is a zinc cave. I ended up not exploring much of it. Didn't have time to do it. Over here, we burned a lot of the forest down, exposed a lot of the pigs, and killed off a lot of wolves. And up here is our treasure hunter trader. Okay, we still have dirt in here. And here's a treasure hunter. You take tin bronze pickaxes. At this point, I don't need to go to the treasure or the agricultural trader over there because we've already been here in the last play session. So I just wanted to touch this place. So we'll head home and we'll end the playthrough. Now you probably noticed, but I started a new playthrough for Raft, the final chapter. It's actually finished. It's out of early access now. So I'm going through that starting from the very beginning, then working my way to the end. So check that out if you want to see more content for survival crafting games. I'm also finishing up my playthrough for Seven Days to Die. Like, that is almost done as well. So, the only survival crafting game I will be playing in the near future, I guess, or I guess right now, is Raft. And that'll take a while. Also looking at other games to play, but... At the moment, I also want to work on my web projects. For those of you who don't know, I work on two web projects, Esports Earnings and Let's Play Index. Esports Earnings tracks the player earnings and tournament results for everything across all esports. And I also have Let's Play Index, which is tracking the YouTube data for content creators here on YouTube, mainly gaming content creators. Well, I shouldn't say mainly. It's only for content creators on YouTube. I'm tracking the view counts for every creator as long also the games for those creators. I'm also tracking basically the total amount of views for each game and total amount of videos like it's still a work in progress there's just like a lot of data i have to work on for that site but it's updating every day like the updates are automatic and i have a game detection algorithm that basically figures out what the game is for every single video so check that out if you get a chance both of these web projects are running on a server rack. It, it's actually a multi-server architecture. And by uh, watching these videos, watching the series that I make, watching all the videos that I make, that actually helps to pay for the architecture every month. So if you can just check that out, it'll help me out a lot. And with that said, it is time for me to end this playthrough. So thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next game. Take care and be safe out there.